inviting me along here today, uh, and also to Deirdre and Germany of the uh, City Council. Thank you very much. So, I'm extremely fortunate, I have to say, in that not only have I been involved in a number of startups, but I spend all of my time, or a lot of my time, with startups uh, and training entrepreneurs and working with entrepreneurs. And it's one of the best places in the world to work. In fact, it's fun and play, it's not work at all. Um, and it really, I wouldn't swap it for the world. So as we think of Dublin, and I was asked to speak on Dublin today, the title that I really wanted to talk about is Dublin, the best city in the world to set up in business. Because we have a lot going on here. Now, firstly, before we look at what we have going on here, let's have a look and see what are the basic needs of entrepreneurs. What are the needs that we need to be meeting for entrepreneurs? Firstly, we need to be giving them information. We need to make, be making information easy to access. We need to be giving education to them. People are technically brilliant at their areas, but don't necessarily know how to set up a business. We need to be educating them well on how they set up a business. What are the legal side of things, issues involved? What are the financial issues involved? How do they manage teams? We need to be pulling people out of just setting up jobs for themselves, but actually building bigger businesses through our education. We need to be providing excellent facilities for them. I mean, Dublin is known to have excellent facilities here. We need to keep on providing the facilities that we have and provide ongoing supports to them. Not only in supports and terms, we tend to think of supports and startups and we hear you know, what grants are available, what else is available. It's not just that. Entrepreneurs need peers. Entrepreneurs need mentors. Entrepreneurs need people around them that they can learn from. They need networks. They need good networks. They need open networks. This is what entrepreneurs need in order to be able to set up their businesses. And finally, yes, entrepreneurs need finance. Some can do it. And they can do it on a shoestring and start again, but it is easier if they have finance, and many, many need finance. So access to finance is vitally important. So these are some of the basic needs for our entrepreneurs. Now, the great thing about Ireland now, the great thing about Ireland, as opposed to 20 years ago, or 15 years ago when I was setting up, is that the mindset has changed dramatically. Now, it's not such a thing to be frowned upon to be setting up a business. Now it's something to be encouraged. So the mindset is there, and that's a big hurdle that we've all gotten over. But also, um, there are a lot of supports out there, and a huge number of supports in Dublin to support entrepreneurs. Apart from what Greg mentioned is happening in schools, through the schools enterprise programs, we're teaching our students even younger about being entrepreneurial, we're having competitions for them. Let's look at some of the supports that are already out there. This is some of the enterprise support that is in Dublin at the moment. And in addition to this, I mean, we've got the enterprise boards there. When we think of Dublin, we can't just think of the city. We've got to think, we're a tiny country. We've got to think of Dublin City, wider Dublin, and beyond that too. We can't just stop our networks and everything that we do for entrepreneurs just within our own borders and boundaries. We've got to be thinking how can we cooperate and work together as a city and with outside that too. We've got the four enterprise boards. We've got lots of partnerships. Outside of that as well, we've got Enterprise Ireland, we've got IBEC, Ford Via, Chagas, we've got sectoral supports that are going on for, for startups and for small businesses. We've got the Small Firms Association, now the City Council, the Craft Council specifically for craft business. There is lots and lots and lots of support out there that are providing different finances, different facilities, different supports through networks. So let's have a look at some of the others. These are enterprise centres that are based in Dublin. So we've got the uh, NCI enterprise centre, the ones linked to the universities with NCI, we've got DCU uh, with Invent, we've got Nova and UCD, we've got Trinity Enterprise Centre, we have, we have the activities that are happening in the Institutes of Technology through the New Frontiers programme and Enterprise Ireland led programme, uh, both in the Synergy Centre and the Link Centre. Um, we've got lots and lots of different things going, and this is not all inclusive. There are other centres that are linked to these centres as well. Others then, when I started to look about a little bit more and started to research a bit more about what is happening in Dublin, outside of what I already knew about, we have the Fumbly Exchange, a great new initiative, up a couple of years now, specifically focused 
focused on architects and providing workspace for ar architects and networking space for architects. We've got John, pa John Patch Labs. Uh, we've got the NDRC and their Launchpad program. We've got the Ryan Academy and their Propeller program. We've got Wayrun, we've got IGAP through Enterprise Ireland. We've got the New Frontiers programs through the Institute of Technology that I mentioned. There is lots and lots going on, which not everybody knows about. Uh, we've also got Central Hub that provides desk space. We've got food work specifically for food programs. We're currently involved in QED training in a government initiative to get 90 people started in business by the end of the year. They're on a nine month program, they're all long term unemployed, and they are all setting up in business. We're over halfway through the program, we still have 85, and all 85 are looking at setting up in business. So there are great initiatives around. The Chambers of Commerce, both here in Dublin, the British Irish Chamber of Commerce is looking at getting people abroad as well, with networks through Network Dublin. We've got three or four networks that Greg and his team have in Dublin City Enterprise Board. Again, all supporting entrepreneurs. We've got networks specifically for women in business, networks specifically for startups, networks for those that are trying to grow so that people can meet peers and like-minded people and really get their businesses off the ground. We've got the Lead Start Meetup and we've got the Vodafone Smart Start Network that offers free mentoring to businesses that are looking at how to use technology to really take their businesses and move them in different directions. We've got how many events do we have for start? We've got boot camps, we've got them specifically for the health, the businesses that are setting up in digital health. We've got Startup Weekend, we've got the excellent web summit that happens at the end of every October. We've also got Founders that happens alongside that. We've got the National Business Expo, that's something like two or three thousand people walking through it in March, last in the RDS, giving huge amounts of information to startups on what is happening around the city. We've also got online forum, here's just two. We've got Small Business Can and we've got All About Business. There's lots and lots of activity, we've got boards.ie, online for people to find out what is happening. Now, I just pulled all this together in the last sort of 24, 48 hours. If anybody would like any of this information, I'm quite happy to circulate it after this. I'll hand it on to whoever would like it and start to get one hub happening together of all this information. There's also a huge number of awards to celebrate the successes of entrepreneurs that are out there. Through the start of awards, Ernst & Young are doing an excellent job building up networks of entrepreneurs and celebrating the successes of entrepreneurs, as are the SFA, the David Manley Awards, and Ulster Bank's Recent Business Achievers Awards. So, we have a lot happening. We also have quite a bit happening on the financial side, and this is the bit we like to give out about a lot, but there is a lot happening, and there is a lot out there. Sometimes it's not easy to access, I will admit that sometimes just the business is just not good enough to get the finance. And sometimes we just don't know that it's out there. But look at all this activity that is happening. Uh, we really need to make sure that entrepreneurs and startups are made aware of all the different supports that are out there and are available to them. But it's not enough. It is not enough. And that's why we are all here today. It's not enough because, as Greg said, we're 13.7% unemployment at the moment. The HEA, in their recent stats, said that 60,000 graduates came out, both undergraduate and postgrad, and after nine months, less than half of them had got jobs. We are back in a recession. And not only that, People that are really passionate about setting up a business, people that really want to start their own business, are ending up starting up, not in all cases, but in a lot of cases. They're ending up a couple of years down the road with jobs for themselves that are poorly paid, that are long hours, that they can't get holidays from, and they can't sell and can't turn into a financial asset because they are building jobs, not businesses. And we need to make that right. So, one entrepreneur can have a huge effect on so many. It's not just about the employment that they create, both for themselves and for other people. It's about the role models that they become for the others around them. It's about the knock-on effect that they have for suppliers. 
It's about the money that they that starts moving around them. Huge number, over 90% of businesses in Dublin are small businesses. We don't have to set up all massive tech startups. Okay? Every small business counts, and every small business must be taken into account as we go through our deliberations and our cluster thinking today and over the next two and a half days. So, change is ahead. This is a great time. We have a lot happening here, but times are changing. Cities are vying to become the most entrepreneurial cities in the world. Now, Forbes magazine last year, a testament to everything that Dublin has going on at the moment, named Dublin as one of the seven top cities globally to set up a business. And what did they say were our strengths? Well, they said we're English speaking. We're cheaper than the UK. We have good hardware here. We have business friendly policies. We've got good companies that have set up a European basis here, as the Lord Mayor mentioned as well. We have a lot happening and a lot of strengths here. But it is game change time. This is a great opportunity over the next two and a half days, really, for us to look at what other models are around there. Look at the financial models that are happening elsewhere. It's game change time because some of the models that are existing there are broken. The venture capital market, a lot of it is not working. We've got new venture capital type models coming out. We've got XPRIZE, Y Combinator over in the US. We've got ones here, we've got Kickstarter. All of these now need to be explored and see how can we bring them in, how can we make best use, learn from them, make best use from them in Dublin, and make Dublin the best city in the world to start a business.